It's track reviews. Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. It's a happy day in the needle drop land, in Fantano land, in best teeth in the game land. You see the smile on my face because I'm going to be doing a track review here of a new ish song from. The one, the only Mr. Corey Feldman, angelic to the core, himself, dropped a single, again, on January 2nd. Uh, you guys might have seen the video on this channel where I listed a series of artists who I hoped were going to have a big 2021, and Mr. Feldman was on that list. I hope he drops. I hope we get a new record. I hope we see some like real musical ambition on this new LP, for sure, for sure, for sure. I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping that this new single from The Feld Man uh, is just like a slow trickle of what will eventually be Angelic 3, the core. I have no idea what Corey Feldman could do at this point, honestly. I do wanna quickly mention before I get into my thoughts on this song and give it a listen, that we have a new newsletter that we are dropping every week. Make sure to sign up for that. Don't miss a single piece of content that we drop, track reviews, reviews, uh, memes, and other sorts of videos, just everything that we do. We mention it there, pick it up, sign up, link down below. So back to this new single, Rockin' Revolution, which again, dropped on January 2nd, 2021. I mean, this is truly like an interesting drop for this point in time, considering all of the social and political turmoil happening at this moment in America. Uh, Corey Feldman <laughs> is falling on what side of the ideological aisle here. Obviously, this track was dropped before, you know, the, uh, the recent attempt at an insurrection at the Capitol and all that. I'm not going to presume Corey is like, you know, pro that and everything. But, uh, you know, even before that point, uh, it's, 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 it certainly says something at, at this moment in time to be that one guy that's like, stars and stripes, we're rocking for America. You, you have to presume that there, there might be some kind of like ideological baggage coming with that type of statement at this point in time. Again, I'm not like coming out here and saying that Corey Feldman is or is not uh, uh, pro or against anything. I guess we'll have to hear the song first and really uh, try to parse out what exactly Corey is trying to state with this new track. Uh, but um, maybe trying to look at this song in a vacuum here and separate it from everything else contextually surrounding it. Um, maybe, maybe Corey is just trying to you know, get a revolution uh, for rock going. He's really trying to bring back the rock genre uh, with a true American spirit. I guess we'll see. You know, he's got a deal on there. He's got a uh, he's got a Les Paul. I mean, there's n nothing more rocking than a than a Les Paul. At least it looks like a Les Paul. I don't know. <laughs> Let's give this thing a listen. Rockin' Revolution from Corey Feldman. Ba bam. Consider my revolution rocked. That's all I got to say. <laughs> um, you know, Corey aesthetically going in a hard rock direction with this one with very pronounced dramatic riffs, not too fast, you know, nice slow to mid pace, but as, as straightforward and as plain as the chords are, um, you, you would think that it's kind of like a bit of a layup to get a guitar progression this simple, sounding pretty good and pretty smooth, but instead it sounds awkward and lumbering and fragmented as fuck because the drums like have absolutely no groove to them whatsoever. There's no flow to the rhythms. There's like no consistency. It's like every single part of the song drum wise is trying to be just this this never ending dramatic drum fill or something there's like nothing like keeping the pace in the rhythm sections <laughs> so as a result um 
the vocals, the guitar, everything feels really unsupported, feels like horribly unsupported. I don't know who played drums on this one. Was it also Corey? Did Corey also play the drums on this track? Did he play everything? If he did, I wouldn't be entirely surprised. So, you know, the drums really kind of like suck the momentum out of everything. They sound absolutely garbage. Now from there, my presumptions or uh, sort of fear that this track would be, I don't know, some kind of like um, a conspiratorial pipeline or something, uh, we're mostly unfounded. I don't know what Corey's political leanings are after listening to this track. You know, mostly he just seems to be trying to capitalize off of or relate to this general sense of like unrest and unhappiness with the way things are. No real commentary on why they are the way they are, where we should go, you know, just like really bland and insignificant allusions to uh, uh, people are sad, so we need a revolution. And uh, of course, also like, they just need the truth. Give them the truth. And, and that's the other thing. When Corey is singing in the chorus line of this record, uh, he's very much like hitting us with this deep growling, we rock in revolution. But as soon as he hits these pre-choruses and these ascents on the song, he gets in this hat of mid-range. It's a bit of a, an odd... <laughs> tone shift, but it, it is what it is, I guess. Then from there, I think he has this desire to make the song sound heavier, thicker, like more epic and stuff. And it, it seems at least to him, the most obvious way of going about that is to take everything that he can and just like throw it at the mix, layer in as much stuff as possible. So that means from the halfway point and onward, Corey is just like layering one bad guitar solo on top of another. At first, it's sort of like random embellishments that don't even really function in the structure of the song or just uh, seem really out of place and are almost like grating and distracting from the tune that you're listening to because you never know when in the one channel you're just gonna get hit with a wow. But then as the track progresses, like you're literally getting what sounds like three guitar solos on top of each other at once, like playing indiscriminately, not like in harmony, not listening to each other, uh, certainly not listening to the, the foundational instrumentation on the track. And I, I will say, like when it hits that point, the song becomes almost experimental, almost experimental. It's, it's like... Um, you know, he's, he's getting close to like sun and yellow swans territory in a way. I, I really have no idea like what he was trying to conceptualize here uh, in, in terms of like the uh, uh, instrumental layers at this section of the track. It, it's just a total mess. It's a total mess. It's, it's a total uh, uh, junk pile. And um, yeah, again, from that halfway point, the chaos never really seems to let up. The song just gets messier and messier. Corey starts layering in other vocal bits and none of it really comes together smoothly or coherently. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think that's a, I think that's about it. That's the end of the rock and revolution for me. You know, I, 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 th I think I'm, I'm sworn off the rock and revolution for now. Uh, but you know, you guys give this track a listen. Uh, it's linked down below and let us know in the comments what you thought of it. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And, uh, you're the best. Thank you for, uh, uh, joining in with the rock and revolution. Um, and uh, I hope all of you have a good day. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Yeah, hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Corey Feldman, forever.